Welcome, and welcome back to my channel. It's Brenda with Vintage Adventure, and I've got a haul for you today. Enough of that nonsense. I'll show this item later on in the video. But hey, welcome back, and welcome to my channel. I'm Brenda with Vintage Adventure, and I've got a haul for you today. This is all from last Saturday. I didn't thrift the week before. And of course I had all the garage sale goings on. And I just wanna update you with that. I put everything in boxes, put it on curb alert, brought it out to my sister's uh, house who lives on the highway. And most of it is gone by this morning. I The last two days is when I put it out. I put all the metal and aluminum in one and said it was scrap worthy. Somebody came and took it. And then um, Kay said it was like bees to honey or honey, I don't know. Anyway, she said people were stopping all day long digging through the boxes. So there's two boxes left last night when I went by after work. I switched my day this week so I could make it out to the Titans this morning when they open because I looked at their pictures and I saw some things that I was hoping to go out and get. So let's get on with the haul. Um, we are on a beautiful piece of silk, vintage silk from, um, I would guess, Japan. It's got a tag. It's a kimono piece. Um, just gorgeous. Got this for a quarter at the little Grace Lutheran uh, thrift store in Menominee. Um, I believe this is the only thing that I bought there this time, but um, really beautiful piece of fabric. So I hope you enjoy seeing that. I'm going to list that on eBay. These don't go for too much, but I just had to rescue it because it was so cool. But let's get started. So Saturday we went out to the Garage Sale Titans, and we it was half price day, so we got quite a bit of glassware. Again, I'm into the clear glass, not my wheelhouse, but we're going to try it. 50 cents for this beautiful Aura Fours um, piece of glass. It's signed. It's super heavy. Signed right there. You can probably see it a little bit. There we go. Um, but, you know, you can't pass it up for 50 cents. So, hoping that I will get some good return on that piece. Then, if you look over there, there's a bunch of cut crystal. Um... I believe this is the Norataki um, Hampton pattern. And I believe that this, there's a couple other pieces that might match it. This little bridal bowl, that might be Norataki. I need to do more research. And then this um, liquor decanter right here, really in great shape. Again, I paid like a buck fifty for this. Um, and two dollars for the vase which i think is norataki for sure or no dollar but we've got to do a little bit more research on these they're super heavy they're lead crystal um typically i picked these up right before we left because they were just sitting there and i thought well okay i'll try them this was the one that i really liked and picked up at first with the uh, um i was just watching the old curiosity shop and he was talking about this cut glass technique it's not cutting but it's something else but this one is a very heavy cut it's really gorgeous it's got that etching or whatever that cut is wet cut or i don't know what he called it i'm gonna have to go back and look at that video but this one i thought was really the piece that was cool that attracted my attention <clears throat> But we'll get into the rest of the stuff from the Titans here. I'm going out there today, so I'm excited. It's 7.30. They open at 9. Um, and then I'm picking up my sister after that. And we're going out to a new, or to a new to us thrift store. I was watching um, Border Bananas. And Jamie, that the woman that runs that channel, lives around here somewhere. Um, because often I'll watch her videos and I'll see the same thing I saw in the Hudson or Stillwater Goodwill. So um, she took us out to the Star Prairie Riverwood um, resale shop or something like that. It benefits, I think, the Apple River and a nature conservancy. But wow, what a great shop. So go check out her latest video. Um, she goes to Goodwill and then she goes to this Riverwood 
resale shop and it's super cool. So we're gonna head out there at 10 this morning. That's probably, oh, 20 miles to the north of us. So um, here's another item I picked up out at the um, Titans. This is a little jewelry casket. It's missing its inside uh, velvet lining, but otherwise in good shape. Some verdigris right there that needs to be cleaned off. But happy to get this. I've sold these in the past for around $20. I should keep my microphone right here, except there'll probably be feedback. <laughs> that thing I just picked up for myself to play with. Um, here are some items. They had quite a bit of jewelry out there. And it was all half off, so I think this was like a dollar. This little gold wash clamper bracelet with the safety chain. It's got a really neat floral on it. Um, I picked up a little Cadillac pin and a little Cadillac carabiner. These were 50 cents. Um, this was in brand new to me, Sweet Lola. It's a contemporary fashion jewelry, but boy, is this cute. And it's almost a keeper because it matches that whole business I was rescuing from the uh, garage sale last week. But that is really, really a beautiful necklace. And the brand is Sweet Lola. Um, here's a watch fob I paid a dollar for. Not sure. I just sold the pocket watch that I had listed. So I'm not sure. But I will save this for a pocket watch when I get one again. Um, here's another piece. 50 cents out at the Titans. I mean, I really had a heck of a jewelry haul out there. Mostly glass beads, unmarked, but vintage. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't get these out. Give me a second here. Uh, here we go. I believe these are sterling. I'll have to get the... Might be marked on the... There's something right there on the post. But really pretty stones, natural stones. I should go get the... Uh, black white thing just gorgeous uh, here's another natural stone piece this could have been made by somebody but I just like the color combo I thought the blue and the complementary blue and orange was very nice could be amber don't know have to test it with a hot needle um, really looks like amber I don't know if this is lapis or what this might be but um, again Need to do a little bit of more, little bit more research. Here was a nice little piece out there. I think this was a dollar as well. This is, um, oh, what does it say? <clears throat> Holly Yashi. Just really pretty. Look at those gorgeous little faceted glass beads. Really like that. And finally, a little pair of sterling screwback earrings, just kind of a wire mesh design, nothing too crazy. Um, not sh I might have got these at a different thrift store when we went out on Saturday. These are, um, oh, Seagal, California. Just a nice pair of uh, silver tone clip-ons with kind of an antique look. And then this was another item that I picked up out at the Titans. This looks like Cambridge to me, but I've got quite a bit of this in goblets and so forth up there. Um, again, this is etching. Paid a buck for it. It's in great shape. Not exactly sure what the pattern is, so more research to be done. Oops. Then I picked up a Flow Blue plate. You typically don't see these much anymore. Um, what did I pay for this? I think I paid a buck for it or something. It's in good shape. Uh, the gold leafing is worn a little bit. And then here's the um, mark here, Empress S and B T. And then it's got a little something in there. But in pretty good shape. I hope that people still collect that. I know it was pretty hot when my mom had an antique store. 
And then the last couple of pieces were glassware from the Titans was um, some pieces of Balik. So I paid $2 for this. I don't think this is worth much more than 8 or $10. I think I found a couple of comps, but it's got a really great shell design. Bleak is such beautiful Irish porcelain. So pretty. And then here's a little votive holder. And I don't know anything about the um, marks, you know, how to date or age them. Do they, they look pretty much the same, a different color, but... Um, I think $15 on that as well. And I, th oh, let's see. Then more jewelry, a little enamel and rhinestone pin that was really dirty and needs to be cleaned. I think that was 50 cents. And then I got this bag for $1.50, and there was a couple of pieces in here that, oh, this one I paid a dollar for, this little liquid silver with turquoise. And then this one has a lot of faux turquoise pieces in it, a ring, but I believe these are seed bead turquoise and maybe sterling unmarked, not sure, but they're quite pretty. And then there was a really gorgeous crucifix that's sterling with a, um, with a turquoise stone in it. So the rest of this, I believe, is just faux. It is a set though, isn't it? Although these have fallen off of somewhere. Those must be earrings. Maybe I could get some hangers for them. Fix it. I don't think there's a... Oh, there is a mark on this. Sarah Coventry. And then this. I'm not sure what that is. Like a filigree type layered pin. But missing the pin back or the pendant holder. Don't know. <clears throat> So those were that was fun to get a little bag. Speaking of that, I'm going to interrupt myself, and I'm at 195 subscribers on YouTube so far. So I'm going to have a little getaway. I've got a jewelry jar right back here that was left over from the garage sale with some little salt shakers in it, and then I've got also got a um, a. Uh, little tin full of vintage handmade Christmas ornaments. So I'm going to be giving those away in the coming weeks, probably just doing a short on um, YouTube to see if I can, you know, like the 200 subscriber or something like that. So not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to do kind of a giveaway of the jewelry jar. So I will open those up and show what's in them. Uh, back to the jewelry from the Titans. Here's a glass two-strand necklace. Really nice length. Very neat vintage clasp. Um, I didn't see any names on it. I haven't looked at it closely, but I'm thinking it's unmarked costume. Um, and then, let's see. Another natural stone necklace here. This one has a pair of earrings with it. It's a stainless um, metal, but a nice little set that I thought was um, very attractive. I love the natural stones, polished stones. Um, there's a couple more from the Titans, and I think we're done there. Um, here's a kind of an Art Deco piece. I love the little stars, but this is all glass or stone, maybe agates, I don't know. But in really great shape, no class, but you can tell it's vintage because it's got like, oops, it's got some old string in there. But I thought this was really attractive, really cool color combo. And then another long necklace with purple glass beads. Again, you don't see purple glass too often. But I thought this was a pretty nice example. Let's see what kind of a clasp does it have. Just a little locking C. Oh, it says um, 14 karat gold filled, I believe, on there. So I thought that was really pretty. Oh, it would look great with this scarf. <clears throat> a 
And then the last piece from there, I think, is this necklace. And this is another glass beaded necklace. It's got long, these long tube beads, which I think is pretty cool. Filigree work, gold tone. Uh, where's the clasp on that? I don't think there is one. No, there isn't. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool, could be a flapper type design style. And I think that's it from the Titans. Then we went on the way to, um, stopped in Ellsworth at Tried and True by the Cheese Factory, stopped at the Cheese Factory. This is the only thing I picked up at Tried and True was this little Syracuse restaurant where creamer for 49 cents, I think. Oh no, I got one other thing. I got a Whistling Tea Kettle by Revereware. Um, we had this growing up. I don't know if this is a keeper or if I will flip it, but it's a mini teapot. Oh, hey. Um, and um, it seems to be sell for around $20. So if I don't keep it, I will be flipping it. But I thought that was kind of cool. And I had never seen one in the wild before. So I took that home. Then we went to the uh, Salvation Army. Or no, no, no the St. Vincent de Paul in Durand. And I usually go get a lot of stuff there. Once I found a glassy baby there, I think I sold that for $79 on eBay. But um, I bought, they had some sales, sale tags. So I think this was like half or 25% off. But another glass bead flapper link necklace with brass connectors. Um, very nice blown glass beads, vintage. And then um, I found another glass beaded necklace. This looks like a sterling clasp, but it's not marked. Um, J. Crew did a lot of their um, costume jewelry with this same kind of a nautical looking uh, C clasp. So I don't see anything written on here, but. Um, I'll have to inspect it, but this is just a choker with some really large glass beads. So that was kind of fun. Okay, let's put some of this over here. <clears throat> then we, f I found some horse stuff, which I always think is cool. And I've sold with quite a bit of horse collectibles over the years. Um, the first, oh, well, this was found at the Titans, too, for 50 cents. This is a ceramic horse head in really good shape. Cold paint on it, a little bit worn. But nonetheless, I think kind of a cool piece. These kind of C clasps don't lock, so that's kind of a pain in the arse. But I um, thought this was really cute. And we're back at the St. Vinny's. Um, that was Hope. This was Hope. Let's see. Oh, is this? Oh, here's another St. Vinny's piece. Um, this is a chrome and plastic rolling pin. Not too highly collectible, but we'll see what it does. You know, again, it's another $10 item that I told myself I wouldn't buy. Um, and yet another one. Here's like a vintage um, handmade wallet. I thought this was pretty cute. And for 59 cents, I could not leave it behind. I may sell this in a lot with some other vintage handmade leather goods that I have. Oh, what's that? I just like to get the stickers off the leather right away because sometimes the adhesive reacts. Okay. This off. There we go. Here's a candlestick, 79 cents. Not sure who makes this. It's got a beautiful twisted um, stem. It would be really cool in a white and blue Christmas display, I thought, with a candle or votive in it. Um, blown glass. 
Not sure who that is. We'll have to look that up. Whoopsie. First, we'll break it. <clears throat> this was another half price item here. Um, just this Western Wear Croc. Not marked or anything, but I got that for $250. That's about a $20 item. There's only one on eBay without the lid. So that was kind of cool to find it with the lid. And what else? Just some other rando stuff. Um, this would be an ashtray that fits into a stand. Um, so hoping somebody has a stand and is looking for this. Again, I won't ask much for this, but replacement pieces always sell real well for me. I've got a couple of uh, Glenn Plaid Ralph Lauren drinking glasses up. And I sold one for $40, and I've got this other set for $79, and I've had quite a few inquiries and watchers on it, but no action yet, as the auction isn't up. But, um, yeah, people are always looking for replacement items. Uh, here's, these are Hong Kong. I don't know if they're chess pieces or what, but I paid $0.79 cents for them. Again, this is another... Uh, I don't know. Who knows what it'll do? I don't know what they are. They're kind of... I don't know if they're plastic or what. Um, so I think that was it for the St. Vincent. And then we stopped at Hope Gospel Mission in um, Mondovi. Um, there's another thrift store there, but we never make it there in time before it closes on Saturdays. So that was kind of a bummer, but we stopped at the Hope Gospel Mission. <coughs> they got a really great um, London Fog, new with tags coat, lightweight down. Um, I gave my other winter coat away to my girlfriend, um, and I... Did that and that I justified my purchase of this new coat, but it was it's just a gorgeous coat. I can't wait to wear it. But here's an interesting little cameo pin. Um, paid three dollars for it. It's kind of gold and black glass. Um, thought that was a nice little piece. And the horse theme again. This is um, a I think it's a triple crown winner of salt. But the main reason I purchased this, because I think it's by Brown and Bigelow uh, Ceramics. There's a B&B &B USA back here. And I think at one time they were making um, ceramics. I've had a tr another leather wallet kind of like this. Um, it was like a passport case that had, I can't remember the name of the horse now, but I sold that. It was a Triple Crown winner as well. And that was a Brown and Bigelow leather piece. So... Um, I'm just interested in it because my dad used to be an executive at Brown and Bigelow. Um, he, it's funny, I thought of him when I picked this up. And then um, later that day, I was out um, just riding my bike and I ran into a kid and his parents um, flying RC airplanes. And my dad used to fly the little model airplanes. They were gas powered in those days. But it just like brought back all this stuff. We used to have all these model planes and dad would fly them. And um, I don't know why he was so fascinated. He was also a race car driver. And him and my brother did go-karts at the local dirt track. And um, he was a tail gunner in World War II in that little turret and shooting down planes. He did a few missions and then kind of lost his mind temporarily. And he was a real small guy, so he fit in there. And um, then he went into special services. I think he ran the projector and did entertainment and stuff. But um, yeah, he never really talked about it. It's just stuff we pieced together from some letters that my grandma had. And um, But when I find Brown and Bigelow stuff, he was the vice president of Stancraft, the, um, one of the divisions. And I'm going to take you in. I'll show you this thing. Oh, don't look at my house. It's kind of messy. Oh, we had to replace our microwave. Um, but yeah, here's here's his... Um, I bought this on eBay. It's his U.S. patent 
for Stancraft. He designed a um, vending machine. But I found these ads on eBay. I looked up his patent. I was, I was doing the research at work on all the patents for the block that our company founder invented and just checking, making sure all the numbers were right and stuff. And I thought, well, crap, I know my dad invented some stuff. So I found that, print. Just that's just a printout. And then my sister framed this. Um, but yeah, he designed this greeting card and merchandise at our vending machines in like 1960. I don't know what the date is up there, but um, anyway. So yeah, I found that on eBay. I, that was pretty darn cool to find. <clears throat> yeah, my house is messy. Whatever. Whatevs. Okay, so off on we were off on the Brown and Bigelow tangents. So I always look for their ashtrays. I probably will sell this after a while, although I do have a little box of stuff. So anywho, um, then we found this little horseshoe ashtray um, at the Hope Gospel Mission. I also found this annoying thing. This is an FAO Schwartz um, Bluetooth speaker that has the echo in it. So I think I'm done with the haul here. So I will probably use this on the on the exit. But anyway, that's my haul. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the people who watched my videos and bought stuff on eBay. That's the whole point. And I've had a couple people um, message me um, after they purchased something. Or um, I got some very nice messages from people too, um, like overnight. I had a couple of sales. I sold a big tapestry. I sold um, a little, I think I showed it in one of the videos. Um, it's a little uh, sheaf of uh, lumber or twig, bundle of branches. Oh, I'm just brain dead today. Um, sold that pin. Um, I sold this cute little raccoon lucite keychain that was made by, and this is a not a correct term, but someone with... Um, sensory disabilities back in the 50s or 60s and there was a little note tag on it. It was pretty cool. Um, but um, yeah, I just bought this for myself. I bought one other thing too that's necessary if you're a reseller and that is a, I don't know what I did with it. It's a lighted magnifying glass. So this was another purchase at the Hope Gospel Mission. Um, has a little light here, plugs in. This thing's awesome. Um, but anyway. Drink water, keep moving, and use cannabis as needed. Bye-bye.